Okay, welcome back to the Central Valley Buzz. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. Guess what? Let's just go ahead and give away some food right now. You guys go to centralvalleytalk.com. Go to the Enter to Win tab, and in the subject line, I want you to put barbecue. If we pick you, this is what you get. Barbecue chicken sandwich and fries or ribs and fries from my buddies over at Watts Family Barbecue. Enter now. Let's bring in our next guest, Tamar Kenworthy. How's it going? Dude, I did pretty, pretty good, good on that. You know, Tamar is a little hard, but the Kenworthy was easy, so I closed it out with that. <laughs> now, Tamar is from Clinical Forensic program it says that. correct and from the clinical forensic psychology program um california school of forensic studies at alliant international university where's that at it's actually right down by the airport so our campus is right across from the airport very conveniently located and we offer a lot of different doctoral programs um, as well as master's programs in psychology so do you have to have some t type of degree before you go there, or can you, yes, the typically. people watching right now, just jump right in? <laughs> well, actually, they can. They're welcome. But no, they actually, you have to do, you do have to have your bachelor's degree, at least, because typically you'll go into um, either a master's program. We have master's in, like, organizational development, um, organizational behavior. We have um, applied criminology master's programs as well and then we have many of our doctoral programs in clinical psychology and they have many emphasis areas so forensics is one and then we also have like neuropsychology is another emphasis area what is that that actually is a lot to do with um, studying the brain and kind of how it affects behavior and things like that so it's really really fascinating actually how long have you been in town the school itself? Mm -hmm. The school itself has been there actually since um, the 70s. Wow! Yeah, they actually were originally part of downtown Fresno, and then they moved across from the airport. So they've, the program, the school, has actually been part of Fresno for a very long time. Our prior campus director actually used to call it kind of one of the hidden gems mm -hmm. of Fresno. And in a way, I really agree with that because I think that um, a lot of times people don't know that we're really there. But we offer a lot of great training um, in the various fields of psychology, and it's been wonderful. Now, when people go to your college, what type of jobs do they get on the way out? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, varied, actually. Many of them may end up in private practice settings, so seeing clients individually. Uh, many of our students end up in the correctional system as well. So they work in the state prisons. They may work in the state hospitals, in the, um, the clinic kind of settings or VAs and things mm -hmm. like that. They can pretty much work everywhere that a mental health professional can work. And so a lot of times, um, many of our students end up just going into very different paths with their careers, and it's great. Um, we hear back from them and get to have that connection. It's just wonderful. So are there dead bodies there? At the school? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know for sure there. <laughs> Parts of dead bodies, maybe? Perhaps. You never know. The school's been there a long time. Well, I mean, you need something to practice on, right? Well, we don't do that. We don't do pathology. Oh. Yeah, no. We, we do more of the, the what, criminal what, kind okay, of so you know, what, thinking. Let's get into the forensics science. of it then. What, what, what are they learning over there? Well, on the forensics and like the forensic emphasis area of the clinical program, for example, um, you, that's where they get a lot of the training to work with the offender populations. And so they work with individuals um, like in the prison setting. So they go into a lot of the state prisons. I used to, to work, for example, at Corcoran State Prison. And so we would work one-on-one -on -one with the offenders and do counseling with them, group and individual. Okay. And what is it that you do there? I'm the program director right now of the clinical forensic um, psychology of the doctoral programs. And I also supervise, we also have actually a um, very low cost clinic there at the school as well. So individuals can come from the community and receive treatment. For what? For anything. So really? they, yeah, they, we treat a wide range of mental health issues, um, individual counseling as well as group counseling. And like I said, it's very low cost or sliding scale fee based on income. So it's very affordable for people. They're seen by second and or third year graduate level students who are supervised by licensed psychologists. Cool. So I'm one of the supervisors, for example. So you're a licensed psychologist <laughs> yourself? Am. Yes. Okay. So, so I always hate talking to psychologists because then I'm thinking, oh my God, they're sitting there they're just picking me apart right now. I just know it. So how many kids are going, are, are, how many students? Oh, we typically have anywhere from um, around maybe 400 
or yeah. so, wow. at, you know, at any given time in the in the various programs. Are those are those students coming from all over the country? Where they where are they, they coming are. from? They are. They really are. Yeah. I mean, many of them come from within the Central Valley. Um, we get a large pull from Fresno State. You know, they're a great referral source, of course, and from the just the valley in general, but from we have students um, even from Africa and other countries really? that come to wow. the program. So Why here? Why here? I yeah. think because it's the Central Valley. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> why well, wouldn't you come yeah, here? They're going, oh, it's California. I'm going to be right on the coast. That, that's, what, yeah. that's what brought me I'm going <laughs> yeah. to live next door to movie stars. <laughs> but you are very conveniently located in order to go to the coast or the mountains. or Where, where are you, you like. from? I'm originally from Indiana. Oh, well, then you got to be loving it out here. I, I, I do. I do. I enjoy it. Right. It's really nice. Well, if people want to go by and check it out, how, how do they get there? Oh, it's right across from the airport. So it's on 5130 East Clinton Way. Mm -hmm. And actually, we're going to be having an open house um, in May. Um, I believe on May 15th, um, we'll be having that open house. And so um, please just contact the school, 253-2200, and find out more information. All right. Well, thanks a Thank lot you. for coming by. It's so cool learning about new things that I had no idea were even in Fresno. Thank but, you for the opportunity to share about it. I very cool. It. I'm going to go by and check it out. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back on the bus. <laughs> this segment has been brought to you by Horn Photo in the Bellagio at River Park. For all of your photo and camera needs, go to Horn Photo in the Bellagio at River Park. What is your location, please? I'm in Fresno's Tower District. What is your budget, please? I only have $7. Well, that leaves you only one choice. Go directly to Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District. He is having a lunch special for $6.89. Well, that won't leave me enough money to get a drink. No worries. Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District will get you lunch and a drink for just $6.89. Wow. I'm going straight to Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District to get the lunch special and drink for just $6.89. Thank you for calling Lunch Phone. This has been a recording. What? This message was brought to you by Javita Coffee. Change your coffee, change your life, one cup at a time. Check us out at ilovejavita.com. If you've got something to say and you'd like a place to say it, check out centralvalleytalk.com. We are interviewing for new talk show hosts at this time. If you'd like to advertise on centralvalleytalk.com, go to our website and it'll tell you what to do. centralvalleytalk.com. Watts Family Grill. We grill slow. Smile. Secret sauce. Cold beer old friends. Park out back. Look for us on Blackstone, South of McKinley, Watts Family Grill. Hi, Stan Gross of Horn Photo. Are you looking for a camera that takes better pictures than your phone? Why not give Horn Photo a shot? We can show you fantastic cameras from Nikon, Canon, Sony, and GoPro. Your time is valuable, so before you buy from Costco, Best Buy, or the Internet, come see us. We've got great prices and deals, super knowledgeable staff, and we've been selling cameras in Fresno for 76 years. We're in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Knees, or go to hornphoto.com, Fresno's Camera Center. Central Valley Talk. 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 Talk.